Do you know how to add and subtract radicals? Let's take a look. 14 square roots of 5 minus 9 square roots of 5. Now, notice that both of these are, have radicals in them. Now, the square root of 5 is common in both. So we can think of this just as we would a like term. Because it's a like term, we don't have to do anything with it when we add them. We can just bring the square root of 5 over into the answer. And now we can work with the 14 minus 9, which is 5. 5 square roots of 5 is our answer. Here's another one. Here we have 18 square roots of 3 plus 9 square roots of 3. Again, the square root of 3 is a like term, so we're just going to carry that over into the answer. 18 plus 9 is 27. And so our answer is 27 square roots of 3. Here we have 4 square roots of 2 plus 3 square roots of 3. Now the first thing to notice is that these radicals are not alike. Because they're not alike, I can't add any other part of the number. I can't add the 4 and the 3 because I do not have a like term. Here, these two are different. They're not like terms. This is as simple as my problem can get, and, and I can't do anything. I can't simplify it. My work here is complete. Sometimes you'll add or subtract radicals and you'll have to simplify them. So let's look at this one. 4 square roots of 8 plus 2 square roots of 12. Now when you first look at this you'll see that these two radicals aren't alike. However, they might be alike if we simplified them. So let's break down the radical. We leave the 4 alone. The square root of 8 we can break down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 plus 2 again the square root of 12 we can break down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Now let's take it one more step and simplify. 4 the square root of 4 becomes 2 times 2 bring down the square root of 2 plus 2. Now the square root of 4 simplifies to 2, bring down the square root of 3. Now we're going to multiply. 4 times 2 gives me 8, bring down the square root of 2, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, bring down the square root of 3. Now I've simplified this as far as I can go, and I have terms that are not alike. So this is as far as I can go, and this is my answer. What about if you have one like this? 2 square root of 9 plus the square root of 4. Well, let's start off by simplifying everything we can. 2 comes down. The square root of 9 can be simplified to 3 plus the square root of 4, which can be simplified to 2. Now I can use the order of operations. I do multiplication first. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2, and my answer is 8.